Imagine a man so feared, his name sends shivers down the spines of the bravest law enforcement officers. This chilling figure is none other than Ridwan Tagi, a name synonymous with the underworld of crime in the Netherlands. Born on a cold December day in 1977 in Morocco, Tagi's life took a sharp turn when he moved to the Netherlands in 1980. Little did anyone know, this young immigrant would evolve into a criminal mastermind, orchestrating a network of drug trafficking that would hold the nation in its grip. The seeds of Tagi's descent into the criminal world were sown early, with convictions that failed to deter his ambitions. His audacity and ruthiness soon propelled him to the helm of the Macro Mafia, a feared criminal organization that would become his reign of terror. Tagi's name became a specter that haunted the corridors of justice his footprints etched in multiple murder scenes. His reputation as an elusive phantom grew, making him one of the Netherlands' most wanted criminals. The government was so desperate to capture him that a hefty reward of 100,000 euros was offered for his arrest. His influence reached far beyond Dutch borders, extending his criminal web into the heart of Europe's drug cartels. His ruthless method of silencing rivals, and those who dared cooperate with law enforcement only added to his aura of fear and dominance. As Tagi's criminal web grew, so did his list of enemies. His path was set on a collision course with justice, a confrontation that would shake the very foundations of the Netherlands' criminal justice system. In a world of shadows and deceit, even the most elusive can eventually be caught. Ridwan Tagi, the phantom who had successfully evaded capture for years, was finally arrested in late 2019. His hideout? None other than the glitzy city of Dubai. A stark contrast to the dark underbelly of crime he operated in. It was no simple arrest. The operation was a culmination of painstaking international collaboration, a testament to the unprecedented threat Tagi posed. The Dutch authorities worked closely with their counterparts in Dubai, navigating the complex web of Tagi's criminal network. Their collective efforts resulted in the successful capture of the Netherlands' most wanted man. The arrest was a significant victory, not just for the Dutch police but for the global fight against organized crime. Tagi's capture was no ordinary arrest. It marked the end of a dark chapter in the Netherlands' criminal history and the beginning of a new one. With a phantom now in custody, the task ahead was monumental. The magnitude of his crimes demanded nothing short of a meticulous, exhaustive investigation. Despite Tagi's capture, his influence loomed large casting a shadow over the proceedings. Concerns emerged about his ability to orchestrate his criminal network from behind bars, highlighting the lingering, insidious reach of his power. Yet, the authorities were relentless, determined to bring justice to the victims of his reign of terror. With Tagi behind bars, the stage was set for one of the most significant trials in Dutch criminal history. In the courtroom, every secret comes to light, and every crime demands retribution. The stage was set for an epic showdown in the Marengo trial. The charges against Tagi were as numerous as they were grave. Multiple counts of murder, drug trafficking, and leading a criminal organization, the notorious Macro Mafia. In the heart of this drama, a key witness emerged, Nabil B., whose testimony would prove crucial in the proceedings. However, his decision to cooperate with the authorities had tragic consequences. His brother was murdered, and his lawyer, Dirk Weersom, met the same fate. The loss of these two individuals sent shockwaves through the country, bringing a chilling realization of the ruthless reach of the criminal underworld. The trial was not without its hurdles. Delays, judicial reshuffling, and the unexpected death of renowned journalist Peter R. De Vries, who had been an outspoken critic of Tagi, added to the mounting challenges. Yet, these setbacks only steeled the resolve of the prosecution. In their eyes, Every delay, every obstacle, and every casualty underscored the urgency of their mission to bring Tagi and his associates to justice. Tagi's trial was a sobering reminder of the human cost of crime. The court acknowledged the victims and their families, underscoring the somber tone of the proceedings. At the same time, it highlighted the extent of Tagi's criminal network and the fear he instilled in his associates. It became clear that society needed maximal protection against him. The Marengo trial was a testament to the relentless pursuit of justice, a journey fraught with danger and heartache, but ultimately, a journey towards closure. Despite the setbacks, the prosecution pressed on, determined to bring Tagi to justice. When justice is served, it can be as chilling as the crimes it punishes. 
In the tale of Ridwan Tagi, the chilling winds of justice finally blew in the courtroom. Tagi, along with his accomplices, said R and Mario R, faced the sternest sentence in the Dutch legal system, a lifetime behind bars. The extensive Marengo trial which revolved around six brutal assassinations was a landmark event in the Netherlands criminal history. The Public Prosecution Service had sought life imprisonment for six main suspects, and the court concurred in three instances. Other accomplices weren't spared either, with sentences ranging from over 15 to nearly 30 years. Key witness Nabil B, whose cooperation with authorities was instrumental in bringing Tagi's reign of terror to a halt, was handed a 10-year sentence. The trial, which had been conducted over nearly six long years, brought some semblance of closure to the victims' families. It was a marathon of judicial proceedings, involving 17 defendants accused of participating in a criminal organization, orchestrating murders, attempted assassinations, and planning various liquidations. The Marengo trial, despite the numerous challenges it faced, including delays, judicial reshuffling, and tragic deaths of individuals connected to the case, finally reached a provisional conclusion. The court acknowledged the victims and their families, underscoring the somber tone of the proceedings. Ridouan Tagi, once the most feared man in the Netherlands, will spend the rest of his life behind bars. A chilling end to a reign of terror.